Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First Midvale and Newport Global Methodist Church, bringing you a devotional today out of the book of 1 John in 1 John 4, verse 9. Answering a question today, do you know that God loves you? And if you answer, oh, yes, I know God loves me, how can we be sure? Or if somebody asks you, how do you know God loves him? What answer will you give them? The Bible says in 1 John 4, verse 9, this is how God showed the world, showed his love among us. He sent his own, his one and only son into the world that we might live through him or be saved through him. This is kind of like John's epistle, a version of John 3, 16. You know, John wrote the gospels, wrote the epistle, wrote the book of Revelation. And so this is kind of like his restatement of John 3, 16. Rather than saying God so loved the world, he says, now we know we know God loves us. Why? Because he showed his great love for us by sending his one and only son to die for us. There is no greater act of love than that. Just imagine giving up a child, giving up your child for a sinful, broken people. And the best example I can give is imagine there's a murderer on death row. Would you trade your child, your precious child, to save that murderer? Would you allow your child to die in the place of a murderer, somebody who deserves to die? Most of you, uh, all of you, uh, any sane parent would say absolutely not. And yet God showed his great love for us by giving his perfect holy son to die for a sinful, broken people. You know, I would understand the gospel message more. And when I say understand it, it would be more more easy for me to understand if the Bible said that Jesus came and died for a good group of people. You know, the gospel story would make more sense to my human nature if God sent his son down to die for a group of people who were really trying. A group of people who really wanted to follow God but just couldn't. But the Bible tells us in Romans that Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. So Christ didn't come, and even Jesus himself says, I did not come for people who think they are righteous. I came for those who know they are sinners. And so we have this story, this gospel message of God dying for us, dying for a sinful, broken people that we might be saved. That is the greatest act of love you'll ever hear. So my message for you today is turn to Jesus. I mean, if, a, if God loves you this much, if the God of the Bible, if Yahweh loves you this much, then who else would you serve? Why else would you serve another God? He is the only one who deserves all your love, all your attention, and all your worship. And I ask you to give that to him today. Amen.